Hello everybody, welcome to another uh, reaction. This is the game Nintendo wants you f to forget by Jane Animations, as you can see right there. But yeah, it, from the thumbnail, I, it kind of looks like I might actually know what the game might be. From what it looks like, it's, it looks like it's that dance and it's like Mario Ref Revolution game, or whatever it is. That was on GameCube, I believe, but yeah. Uh, so let's just get into it. Thanks for the support as well. Yep. He's the coolest person anyone has ever seen. Yeah, he pretty much. Game genre that sparked an incredibly Triple A excellent. Fan base. But we're not talking about a game that has any of that. We're talking about the Mario DDR game that came out on the GameCube in yep. 2005 and is the funniest thing Nintendo has ever done. If you didn't know, Nintendo released their own Dance Dance Revolution game to capitalize on the hype. But it's actually awful. Uh, for whatever reason, they just ripped all the assets and models from their Mario Party games and mocap Mario to various dances. Uh oh. In animations like these. I hope you're starting to pick up on the vibe of this game now. I wanted okay. to run the game at the hardest difficulty, but I realized to unlock each difficulty, you need to complete the entire story mode in its prior difficulty. So to oh. unlock hard mode, you have to beat the game in normal. To unlock very hard, you have to beat it all again in hard. Oh. So we all agree that I played the game three whole times and didn't use a cheat code to get the hardest difficulty immediately, right? Yeah, I told. Yeah. All right, great. This game is awesome already. The story okay. Starts out with Toad running to Mario's house because someone stole the music keys from Trouble Towers, and they need to go get them back. Okay. The music keys. Yeah. The game calls them the spheres that hold the power of music, and then does not elaborate. They try wow. to the tower, and not a minute into the game, we reach our first story hurdle, which is a river. They say it's flooded, but does not look flooded in the slightest. Yeah. In fact, that is exactly what I had expect. A normal river to look like. Uh -huh. So why would you put your house here in the first place? Yeah, really. Especially if you're going to have problems with crossing rivers. But Toad has a solution. And the solution is to dance. What? Oh my god, do not tell me I can predict how this entire game goes all because of this one sentence. Yeah. Anyways, Toad says if they dance blah, 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 blah. They the river, but then they just get in a boat and dance. Oh. I think is one step too complicated. Yeah, they really. The river in a boat and thank the power of magic. Get to Truffle Towers, the door is locked, and then are bombed by Waluigi. Wow. He gets sent flying and Waluigi monologues about how he is the one that stole the music keys. Of course it was. Them to become the best dancer in the world. Wah. First of all, is full on admission of guilt and therefore tribal. Yeah. And also, I don't think you need to <laughs> to robbery to accomplish that dream. Mm -hmm. Like at all. Mario lands at the bottom of a really deep pipe, but uses the power of busting it down to get out somehow. I don't yeah. know what happened, but he just started dancing and then he was out. And on the wow. road back to the tower, they visit a local shop run by Lakitu. They're shopping, and then the camera pans and reveals... Is that the key to Truffle Towers? They ask him about it, and he's just like, Yup, ain't she a beaut? And it's like, why is it here? Toad asks if they can have it, and he responds, Only if you can do something for me. Dance. Which is terrifying and ominous. Yeah. He takes him to the back, which is also terrifying and ominous, but says, These brat kids are messing with my garden. If you get rid of them, you can have a key. Oh, oh. okay. He just wants us to beat up children. So Mario <laughs> goes around and smashes them. Ooh. Yeah, Go back to the tower and walk in on Waluigi just having his own private little dance party yeah. inside alone. Have you just been dancing Sad. in silence this whole time? He Sadness. He made back pose and challenges us to a dance off, which we win because look at Mario go. Yeah, look at him go. Mario does the smallest little punch celebration in the world before Toad says they're not done with their journey. Hmm. We have one of the music keys. Uh, Apparently there's four in total. Oh, there's four. Okay. The game isn't 18 minutes long. Toad some <laughs> incredible music airship that I guess he just has. And wow. And we go to World Two, where they immediately fly into a tornado. Wow. Along the way and ruin Toadette's hotel. Damn. And when I say ruin, I mean turn it into corkscrew pasta. Toadette wow. is absolutely furious, and I'm just praying we didn't kill every single person <laughs> who was in the building. Yeah. Tomorrow was like, don't worry, dude. I know how to fix it. By dancing. dancing. Yeah. Of course. They dance and the building coils itself up again. And How? It's like, thanks. By the way, I saw the thing you guys are looking for fly over in that direction. Whoa. Which is like, okay, sure. They head over in that direction. Yeah, thanks. Just spawns out of nowhere. 
Wow. To a nearby island for safety. Kind of just stand there with three people in stairs for a bit. Then walk yes. the only Oh my god, those eyes. Just another shop. This time it's run by a lack of you, but in a pirate hat. And oh. you'll never guess what he's got. A ship attachment that lets you sail through whirlpools. Oh. So incredibly convenient. Yeah. Fun progressing. Yeah. <laughs> your eye on the boogie booster it lets you sail through whirlpools so it's like oh neat can we have it nope it's not for sale then why is it on display yeah you know what you've got a point if you beat me in a dance battle you can have it wow. i kid you not that is the exact exchange that happens in the game wow that plays while battling lagatu is super intimidating and i thought i was gonna actually be in danger but mario wins the dance off probably because lagatu has zero legs they get Damn. the engine thing that wasn't for sale and lagatu definitely did not have to give away and now they uh. can sail through whirlpools and when the game says through, they actually mean into. Because apparently oh. the music key is in the whirlpool. And what? I don't know how they knew that or why they didn't tell me. Yeah. The player that in the first place. I was just thinking the whole time, can you just sail around the whirlpool or something? Yeah. It's like a whole ocean to sail in and you're wanting to sail through this. Danger. But now I look like a fool. And frankly, yeah, same. I don't think it's my fault. So they get to the bottom of the whirlpool and find the second music key being guarded by this giant blooper. Oh my god. That means we need to dance battle. Of course, so more dancing. Songs, you get to see the opponent's screen. I thought it would have been really funny to see the blooper have like eight arrows to hit. <laughs> four. Oh my god. But whatever, it's just a really creative and fun little idea. I guess they didn't have to be funny, I guess. Damn. Also, when I say dance, I mean murder. Mark oh. Oh. So hard the blooper died. Damn. Like world three they go, which by the way, this they're eating them. Breakneck pace. Mario does a couple dances. Someone dies and onto the next area, I guess. They land at an amusement park and are immediately gate kept by these hammer bros who are like, "If you want to get in, you're gonna have to dance through us." Toad hmm. runs away because he says his legs are too stubby to dance. Bruh. Which means the gatekeeping worked on him. Mario's canonically immune to gatekeeping, so he stepped up to the challenge. And I would like to mention these hammer bros' highest comp was 30 wow which is not good at all oh okay i'm just saying i would be embarrassed if i tried to get oh yeah that's not really that great thing about it. i don't know why i thought that was better than i thought hi wario they yell out follow that roller coaster what just like ah if only there were rails to indicate where it's going but then they make probably the worst decision you could when you're trying to catch someone on a roller coaster what which is get on the other roller coaster cart if you're getting on a roller coaster to catch someone already on the roller coaster that doesn't work roller coasters don't catch up to each other yeah it's called a collision yeah so make haste again the chase of a lifetime and they end up running into a haunted house where mario needs to dance to fend off the ghosts to avoid wow. being possessed is this what you have to do to close Ouija boards people forget to say goodbye to? They Apparently. They start the chase again. Also, Wario, I don't think you should be saying this when you're clearly in tackling distance. They yeah. They order him at the Ferris wheel. He pulls the, if you can beat me in a dance battle, you can have the key thing again. We beat him, and hey, third music key. <laughs> nice. Anyway, Wario has one of the best songs in the game. The two arrive at World 4, where the skybox is very visible, and everything's all snowy and blistery. Oh, so this music is bop. Mario does not care. But yeah. They make it to the top of the mountain where they find the last music key lodged in this giant freezing's head. This music's a damn bop. He's like, hey, sir, can we have that? And gets hard ignored. So he turns to damn. Mario and is like, did you see that? I was ignored. Mario killed him. Oh my god. He did not like. Which, being honest, is very reasonable. I would be in the same boat if I gave someone the silent treatment and then I overhear them put a hit on me. Even yeah. Toad is clearly in the wrong. Mario dance fights him anyway. And during the very fun upbeat song, the Freezy is seen slowly melting as Mario pelts uh, him yeah. with fireballs. The giant Freezy dies tragically. They get the key and Toad cheers, never once taking the time to self reflect and realize how unreasonable he just was. Yeah. And now this beautiful innocent creature is dead because of it. Damn. Fly back to Truffle Towers to put the music keys back when Bowser punches Toad in the throat and takes all the keys back to his castle. Oh my goodness, there's a secret world. Five secrets in Mario game? Who would have guessed that? You can now play. <laughs> nice Mario Galaxy the reference. Mario song I've ever heard. This, is, this feels so and out of place for a Mario. Bowser is able to use them. Then Toad's like, you're going down, Bowser. Mario, kill him. 
and then the most hype dance battle begins. Have you ever seen Bowser do an aerial while Mario is busting it down in front of him? Wow. Well, there you go. This song unironically goes crazy hard too. The premise of this battle is while she's doing, doing the warm. Arrows, you also have to hit these rocket parts, and when you get all three, it builds into this space rocket that flies over and astral squishes Bowser. Wow. I'd like to say for the record, I think it is incredibly impressive he's able to take a giant hammer to the head and immediately jump up and keep dancing like Yeah, that. really. That's some incredible stamina right there. But uh -huh. the song ends and Bowser collapses. The day is once again saved thanks to Mario and the sociopathic Oh my god. They ask Bowser why he wanted the music keys in the first place. And why? Like, I'll be honest, I just wanted to fix my tone deafness. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. How could you call this bad? Nintendo will never let this happen again. So I yeah, think most likely step not. Up and cherish this game because it's a miracle it exists in the first place. Plus the songs except that weird one near the end are actually fire and I'm dying on that hill proudly. Oh, I see good. Hello everyone. I hope you've been doing well. I have been doing quite well myself. Um, nice. Nothing to say this time. Uh, I'm working on a lot of like fun stuff. But I can't talk about it yet, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Cool. Oh, that's a cool art right there. But yeah, that was a uh, kind of interesting. I've actually never played it. I I didn't really know much about it. I never really seen it. I've seen like a little bit of the music, but otherwise the dance animations are so weird and stupid that it's like funny. But yeah. Mm -hmm was pretty good because Jaden never disappoints with any of her videos. But yeah, thanks for checking us out. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on in case you miss on any new videos. Thanks for supporting our channel. And besides that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.